Hey guys, Cozy here. Today's video, I will be talking about Tana Mojo. Since I'm free and bored from this lockdown, I've decided to dive into the crazed world of internet influencers, starting with Miss Tana Mojo. Now, before we get into today's video, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can check out my links in the description box below where you will be able to find my Patreon and my coffee if you would like to support more of my content. And now, without further ado, let's get to today's video. Tana Mojo is a 22-year-old internet influencer who never shies away from scandals. The most prominent one was her TanaCon fiasco two years ago, and it was picked up as a quote-unquote docu-series by YouTube's empath, Mr. Shane Piggy Dawson, which will have his own video, cause damn, that man has so many skeletons in his closet, it's not even funny. So Tana was quote-unquote screwed over by VidCon multiple times, being told she would be a featured creator, and then having it pulled away from her and then she was flat out banned from it. In true Tana fashion, she did an hour long video where she basically was screaming her lungs out, F you, to VidCon, and decided to make her own quote unquote con, where it would be better, freer, and has all famous influencers as featured creators. So Tana got involved with an event production company called Good Times, that was owned by a Michael Weist, and they made TanaCon, which was a complete and utter disaster. First of all, it wasn't free, people didn't get featured creator badges, there was no food, no water, people were trapped outside in the heat, getting sunburns and heat strokes. People were being sent to the hospital on stretches. It was pure chaos. Everyone was angry, and rightfully so, because they got absolutely nothing from what Tana promised. Enter the stinky pig with his docu-series, and basically he made it seem like, aw, poor Tana, she was young, she was naive, she didn't know better, she was taken advantage of, she just came out with a slap on the wrist. And what's infuriating is that as much as many people were calling her out and stating what a garbage person she is, other people still support her, still spend money on her. Like, what does she do? What talent does she possess? Her content is neither interesting nor groundbreaking. Like, Sis is just a talentless girl who only speaks about and promotes her slutty lifestyle. Like, you're an untalented hoe, Tana. We don't care nor want to know about it. After the TanaCon, we get into the Jana scandal. Tana getting quote unquote engaged to YouTube's disaster Jake Paul and later quote unquote getting married and once again scamming their fans to pay money, precisely $50, for their high definition weddings behind the scenes footage, only to be faced with 144p footage of literally nothing. Then they broke up, it was a whole thing, like what was the point? Like I know the whole MTV series show, but you could have just been colleagues in it, like you would have gotten your money either way, but there was no point to scam your fans, like why? Why would you do that? We also have the Nessa fiasco, where Nessa introduced Tana to her manager Jordan, who is on another level of douchebaggery himself, who then dropped Nessa, and they both, he and Tana, proceeded to alienate Nessa, treat her like garbage, treating her in a very racist manner, and just being plain trash to her. The whole circle is a hot garbage of a mess. Like really, birds of a feather flock together, and don't even get me started on the Tana Turns 21 disaster of a show. 
So, that was years ago. So people might say, well, that was a long time ago. She's changed now. She's doing better. Bitch, you thought. So we all know that since 2020 started, the whole world has been suffering from a certain thing that's been outbreaking all over the world. And people are getting deworded because of it. Left, right, and center. The whole world is trying its best to social distance, try to keep themselves and others safe, and stay away from catching the pandemic. But in the midst of of all of this chaos, what does Miss Tana do? She, alongside other idiotic, insufferable, and irresponsible influencers, go out and go to parties in the middle of a freaking global pandemic. Are you serious? No masks, no social distancing, no consideration to anyone whatsoever. And people might say, oh well, they don't have the virus, so it's okay. Y'all realize that people can be carriers and not show any symptoms, right? And that they can infect so many others who are susceptible to it, who have severely weak immune systems, whether they are young or old. Like, you make contact with so many people and you can infect them in a flash. Like one influencer, after she left a party, she went to visit her grandmother in the hospital. Like, are you inbred? How could a person be so freaking stupid? The human race, I swear, it's going to hell. I don't know, it's like 2020 is the year of showing how idiotic and stupid people can be. All over the world, not just a certain certain country or a certain village. No, no, it's global. It's like the pandemic. Global stupidity. God. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. Also, there were talks of influencers testing positive of the virus, which is effed up to the highest level. And the cherry on the cake? Tana flat out stated that she does not care. Like, what the F, man? How inconsiderate can a person be? And then she went after being slammed for it online. She said she will make quote-unquote apology videos. Not one video. No, no. No, no, not Miss Tana. Videos, plural. And did we see said videos? We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. No, 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 no. She slipped on said apology videos for months. I am so goddamn tired of these imbeciles. And now, the grand finale, kind of. Little Miss Tana Mongoose posted a 15-minute apology video yesterday, and oh my god, what apology it was. The following will be the points where I will state why I believe this video was the worst video ever made so far. Number one, Tana's appearance and background was severely cold. Number two, Tana was speaking in a very quick, robotic tone that was so inhuman. Like, homegirl looked like a Republican advocate or something. Like, when the video started, I had to check out the speed because I thought I had it on double speed. But no, no, she was talking not in her normal Tana fashion. No, it's like she was giving a speech. I don't get it. Number three, she actually wore white pearls. White pearls. I was actually waiting for her to clutch them, to be honest. Number four, she took a paper out of Stinky Pig's book and stated that she deserves to be deplatformed because of what she is doing. So, like, I deserve to be deplatformed. I deserve to have everything taken away from me so that we would feel sorry for her. And stinky boo. No, no, no. This is not about you. We don't give a frick about you. You will not get our sympathy. Number five. She went around everything, going in circles without an ounce of sincerity. Number six. Out of nowhere, she started talking about her quote-unquote performative activism and talking about Black Lives Matter, mentioning Breonna Taylor in a fleeting manner. Like, she definitely copied Jeremiah Starfish's apology here. Number seven. It all came off as her constantly saying, I, I, I. It's not about you, an apology. It's not about the person who is apologizing. It's about someone taking accountability. It's about someone 
someone feeling sorry for crappy shitty things they did to other people. The apology is for other people to show that you are remorseful, that you are taking accountability of your actions. Why is this so hard for these influencers to understand? I don't get it. Number eight, the apology was scripted AF and the jump cuts. My god, the jump cuts. Don't even get me started. Number nine, she stated that she will be voting for Joe Biden, which was unnecessary to talk about. Like, what was the point? This is not a political campaign. Nobody asked about your political stances or who you are going to vote for, but it was a part of her activism shtick. Like, she did all of this while looking like a Trump supporter. She was, she looked like Tommy Lahren, honestly. And lastly, she quote unquote, apologized to her fans for disappointing them and promising she will do better to be the role model that they deserve. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were them because Tana has been apologizing for her actions over and over again for years and it was the same. Nothing new happened. Overall, as expected, the apology was complete and utter trash. No sincerity, no guilt, no accountability whatsoever. It was the same old stupid pandering and manipulation. And my god, the number of times she kept mentioning microaggression. Most of it was towards her, like nobody is being microaggressive towards you, Tana. Criticism is not aggression. Criticism is not bullying. My god. Oh, and one more thing, after in that apology video, she stated that it will be her last one. On her Instagram, she said that since people are crucifying her for that apology, that it was insincere, that it was scripted, she will make another apology video in response. Just say you want more clout and go. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video. Later!